Hey folks, Ben Gilbert here with Engadget, and I've got Chris Mitchell, VR marketing man from Razer. I don't know how else to put that. Product manager, Product manager. of OSVR. Of OSVR. So OSVR stands for Open Source VR. That is the newish initiative from Razer that you guys have here at CES, uh, at least with regards to VR, uh, virtual reality for those folks at home who might not be uh, nerdy about VR headsets like I am. Uh, so uh, tell me a little bit about uh, OSVR, what it does, the specs, uh, what the bigger picture is for Razer with this initiative. OSVR in itself um, is three things. It's uh, entirely open source. Um, it's focused on the game experience, which for Razer probably goes without saying. And then uh, lastly, it's already uh, supported by industry leaders. So um, from the input side of things to game engines to, to output to HMDs. It's a two-pronged approach. Um, it's both software and hardware. So what you see here is the hardware uh, portion of it, the OSVR Hacker Dev Kit. Um, and it's also accompanied by uh, a software framework, which is essentially setting a new standard for virtual reality. What used to be the mouse and keyboard standard, um, in virtual reality, you have motion sensing, you have eye tracking, you have gesture tracking, gesture control, stuff like that. Um, that's where the software kind of comes in and brings it all together. So there's a USB port we see here. Uh, and on, when we flip it to the back, uh, there's a little bit of padding, the kind of standard stuff that we're used right. to seeing with VR headsets. But what's most interesting to me about this is the dual lens setup that's in right. here. Uh, so when I was using it just a moment ago, when you're looking at the edges of your vision, when you're looking at your peripheral vision, a big problem with a lot of VR headsets is that you get a pretty blurry edge, uh, and that's a lot of times corrected through software and other means. But with this, you're using a, a dual lens setup to essentially eliminate that, that fade or that blur that's on the edge. These allow you to, to move the, the lenses to the left and right and even forward and backward. So kind of um, catering to different interpupillary distance. Um, the so distance between your eyes. That's right, the, the eye gap. <laughs> um, and also uh, different, uh, like if, if you're um, visually impaired, I suppose, um, then um, uh, it, it, you can use it even without glasses. So uh, kind of providing you the best possible image just through the hardware without even doing any software correction or anything like that. So in the case of something like Oculus Rift, for instance, you'd be pulling out the lens and swapping them out if you had, you know, uh, if you were nearsighted or something like that. In this case, you don't necessarily need to do that. You can kind of adjust things yeah, for your own as vision. It, as it is, correct. Okay, all right. And so uh, just finishing things up here, there's a, there's a wire here, as you can see, that connects to a box that can plug into the back of your pocket and then will plug into a computer from there. Uh, and that's to just kind of make it so that you can move around a little bit when you have it on. Uh, and this is a device, though, that is otherwise... Uh, like you said, open source and will be available to people. This specific headset, though, will be available to people, but most specifically like developers and hackers and that kind of folk, right? Not necessarily the average consumer. That's right. Yeah, so we're going to be shipping by June. Whoever wants to buy can buy it, but uh, it's really meant for the developers, um, hardware developers or software developers. So shipping by June 2015 uh, for 199 US dollars. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much, and hopefully we'll hear more from you about OSVR in the coming months, at very least at maybe the Game Developers Conference in March, for instance. Absolutely. Well, okay. big announcement's coming up. All right. Well, thanks very much. It's a kind of virtual bike where you feel all the movement for this uh, trail that you're going on uh, screen. I'm joined by...